Hey everybody, it's Val from Autistic Interpretations. It's time for another Q&A. In today's q and I'm going to talk about things that I thought Jessica would never learn to do. So there's so many things that Jessica can do that probably at some point in time we thought she would never learn to do. I have a list in front of me for reference because um, my attention span. If we go back a, a long way, I'm going to address some of the biggies. One thing that Jessica learned to do that I never thought she would learn to do is button her pants. So Jessica has fine motor deficits. She has very mild CP. The part of her brain that is missing is mostly on the left, which affects the, her right-hand side of her body. So she has right-sided weakness. She has dexterity issues with her fingers. And she was very delayed in being able to zip her pants and button her pants. Jessica was in middle school when she finally started being able to button. Um, there's an issue with being able to button something that's in front of you versus buttoning something that is on you. She went through a lot of occupational therapy over the years and that is one of the things that they worked on for a long time and she was eventually able to learn to button her pants. Another thing around that same time frame that happened is uh, Jessica went through puberty and started having her period and I thought from for the rest of my life I would be helping her manage that. She had one-on-one -on -one pair of pros in school. They had the ability to follow through with what we were working on at home and she was able to learn to manage that on her own over time and that is something I never thought she would learn to do. I get a lot of questions about um menstrual issues, girl issues, period issues, and I'm and I'm going to deal with that separately because that is a big and sensitive private kind of issue. I'm not sure how I'm going to address that yet. Probably I'm going to do a private class type setting on that at some point so that I can narrow it down to moms and dads who are specifically needing that information instead of it being out in the whole wide world public type thing. Along with that is also the issue of putting on a bra by herself. Um, that is something that I honestly never thought Jessica would learn to do and she was very delayed in that. I can't even remember at what point that she actually started being able to put on her own bra. It was probably later than middle school. There are a lot of steps involved. Doing a hook and eye, something Jessica still cannot do. She's still not able to fasten a typical bra. Uh, so if you put on a typical bra the typical way, there's so many steps involved, including the fastening part and getting the bra situated and straps on. Uh, that's something we worked with OT for a very long time and eventually trying to remember who finally made a breakthrough with that um, and teaching her how to do that. And it might have been in her high school years. She, we had um, someone that came to the house and worked with us. I just don't remember. But the solution is stepping into it and pulling it up, kind of like you're stepping into pants and pulling up pants. And again, that's something we can deal with on a in terms of information and sharing that on a more private, uh, small group basis. Another thing that happened that was really cool, now as time passed and, and um, Jessica developed, one thing I did believe that she could do was learn to utilize an iPad. Um, even, we've talked about this in other videos, Hannah, when I told her I was gonna get Jessica an iPad, was a doubter and she couldn't understand why I would get her an iPad. She wouldn't be able to learn how to do it. But I did believe in Jessica's ability to learn to use Siri and to have Siri read messages to her or, or tell her the time, just various things. Jessica was so determined. Somewhere, I think I have video of when she first started learning to use the iPad. And I'm going to create a video to share because I want to show Jessica's determination and action um, while it was frustrating to watch, and I'm sure it was frustrating for Jessica to go through, she was also so determined that she, she, she persevered until she could master Siri. It wasn't easy to master Siri. There's things you've got to learn in terms of when to pause and how to word things and 
um, there was quite a, quite a feat for her to learn. What I didn't expect her to be able to learn was to ever be able to have the iPad open and utilize an app like YouTube where she has to use her vision, this little vision she has in her left eye to look at her iPad, find a square to tap on to go to another video. So while she can't see the icon details, she can't read what's on the icon, she learned that whatever she's watching, there will probably be similar suggestions on her screen that she can tap on and go to another video. And one of her caregivers taught her how to do that, caregiver Casey, and that is something I would have never dreamed that she would be able to do. So that was something really cool that she learned to do. Another thing that she still struggles with, but can do at times, I never really thought Jessica would sleep through the night. Jessica has had problems sleeping her whole life, even as a baby. And the older she got, the more trouble she had sleeping. It's connected to anxiety, but it's also connected to blindness. You can read up on blindness and sleep issue. There's a, there's a real thing there. And um, just kind of for Jessica, it's shutting down her thought process. I can relate to that a lot. I, I've never been one to stay awake most of the night or talk to myself all night. But I have also had problems sleeping through the night uh, much of my life. And mine is related to thinking. I can't stop thinking at night. And I think that's something a lot of people can identify with. Probably after Jessica graduated from high school, when I did finally get her started on some medication for anxiety, we did manage to get her on the right medication regimen where she does finally sleep through the night, some nights, not all nights. I won't go into the details of which medication she's on, but it's several different anxiety medications plus a supplement. And that um, saved the day. And the more she started sleeping through the night, the more she um, could communicate in a better way. Her thought processes were so much clearer. It was an amazing, amazing transformation. I need to talk about that in another video and, and go into more detail with that in another video. And that also, not that I thought she would ever be able to do it, but something that is so much better than I ever expected it to be is her anxiety being more under control. Nani had a good one that she came up with. Um, you know, Jessica has, I've talked about this a lot in other videos, Jessica has tactile defensiveness. It's a form of sensory processing disorder. And that means regular textures that wouldn't bother most people are real intense for her. And she has a very strong negative reaction to certain things. One thing that she did recently that I was so amazed by and pleased with is uh, while she was helping Hannah cook something um, and I think Marlo at one point, I can't remember exactly, but um, she agreed to and did roll out, I don't know if it was cookie dough or Snickerdoodle. sausage balls. It was Snickerdoodle cookies. Did she also help with sausage balls recently? Yeah, so two different things, cookies and sausage ball, raw dough. That's amazing. It's, I would have never thought that we would get to the point that she yeah. would do that, and she did those two things. So um, that's something that she did that I never thought she would do. Ask Bad Daddy the same question, and let's see if she, if she what he said. His were similar in thought. He mentioned the haircut. I don't know that we ever thought that she would sit still and be so cooperative for a haircut like she did recently. So that was a good one to point out too. Uh, and he mentions toileting. I imagine there was a, pl a point in her lifetime when we probably didn't know if she would ever learn to completely toilet by herself. Um, and she, of course, was able to do that and can be independent almost, I would say, 99 percent of the time she can be independent on the toilet. So those are some things. Um, if there are things that y'all see her do, if you want to know if we ever thought she wouldn't, feel free to ask 
if there are things you wonder if we think she'll ever do independently, feel free to ask. So um, be creative in your comments if you want to, and we will be happy to fill you in on that. So I hope this has answered some of those questions and been enlightening. So um, if you have suggestions for Q and A's that we haven't done yet, or if we've done one and you want us to do it again, let us know. Thanks for watching. Bye.